Welcome back to the Dragon Den, my loyal Dragonites! King of Dragons 5000 is back with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Shinfu Toys Berserker Studios Myths Gods of Nations Zeus. But before we have a look at the figure, let's take a look at today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Gundammit.com. Action figures, model kits, and other collectibles, check out Gundammit.com with the link in the description. So here we have the Berserker Studio Zeus pose and out of the packaging, and does he look very impressive. But before we have a look at his details, let's run through his accessories. Zeus comes with two very expressive head sculpts, as well as multiple sets of hands for holding his various accessories. Also included is a Staff of Olympus, the Blade of Olympus, the Aegis, and a Lightning Bolt. So some pretty well detailed accessories here for Zeus. With all his accessories out of the way, let's have a look at his details. The Berserker Studios Zeus is very well done and everything about this figure looks impressive. There's a lot of details to go over from the musculature all the way down to his armor. Starting at the head sculpt, this is a very impressive head for Zeus. The stoic expression and the whited out eyes look perfect here for the God of Olympus. He has a long beard and mustache and you can see they did include some beads on his mustache. Zeus has some really nice long flowing hair that is done in white plastic with some blue highlights. And atop of his head does sit his golden crown which is sculpted beautifully. The body here on Zeus is very well done, I have to give Berserker Studios credit here. The muscle detail on Zeus is spectacular and I love the amount of shading that went into the musculature. And his toga is done in soft goods which is beautiful with the detailing and is held together by a brooch on his right shoulder. The brooch itself has some impressive sculpt work and the paint job on it does show some worn gold medals. Zeus's arms are also nicely in detail, with the musculature reflected perfectly and the highlights in the muscles just bringing out all that gorgeous detail. Moving on to his arms, Zeus is wearing a giant pauldron on his left shoulder. The pauldron is done in this really nice gold paint and I love the intricate details that are highlighted by turquoise. And his armor does have some brown feathers and a brown strap going around his bicep. His left bracer carries over that impressive gold details with that beautiful turquoise accents which look spectacular here. His right gauntlet has an ornate pattern with turquoise which looks beautiful and the gold on it is done very nice. Zeus is wearing a brown belt which has some nice gold highlights to it. On the left side that turquoise and gold are reflected beautifully here and on the right side it does have some leather tassels. His toga does continue down to his legs where you can see it drapes his left leg. And once again it has beautiful detailing on the edges and it just looks spectacular. Zeus also has some very muscular legs which look beautiful here. And on his shins he does have on a pair of golden greaves which look beautiful here. They carry over that ornate pattern as well as some turquoise paint bringing the look all together nicely. And of course, Zeus is wearing some leather sandals which are sculpted perfectly and painted wonderfully. And he does have on these gold buckles on the top of his feet with some really nice dry brushing to it. So overall some spectacular detailing here on Zeus and everything works perfectly for the god of Olympus. With his details out of the way, let's compare Zeus to our usual suspects. Here we have Zeus posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and DC Multiverse Superman. Mattel's WWE Elite Series and Mezco's 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. The Lightning Collection White Ranger and the Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. So as you can see Zeus will stand a head and shoulders slightly taller than true 112th scale and he's even taller than domestic scale. I think the size is perfect for Zeus being a god of Olympus he needs to be larger than life. With his comparisons out of the way, let's move on to his articulation. Zeus does have a double ball joint in his head. Arms go out to the side and do a full 360. Swivel at his bicep and double hinged elbows. He has a ball hinge in his wrists. 
ball joints in his upper torso and ball joints in his lower torso. Legs do kick forward, go back, out to the side and have a thigh swivel. Double bend in his knees. A hinge in his ankle, forward facing pin for rocker ankle and finally a toe hinge. So Zeus does have some pretty good articulation and all of it works for the most part with the exception being his head being limited by his hair. But everything works perfectly making Zeus a highly articulated figure. So with everything said and done let's get the Berserker Studio Zeus pose for my final thoughts. The Shinfu Toys Berserker Studio Zeus is a very beautiful figure and I have to say very welcomed into the collection. Zeus has some impressive detailing both done in sculpt work and paint applications. Head to toe this has to be one of the best detailed figures I have had a look at in recent memories. The head sculpts on Zeus reflect the powerful image that we get when we think of the Greek god. I like the use of the soft goods toga here on Zeus as it doesn't hinder any articulation. Add to it the amount of paintwork that went into the muscles does a really good job conveying all those really nice crevices and bringing out all that impressive detail. And his armor is just beautiful done with the golden turquoise bringing the look together really good. I especially love the fact that he comes with several different weapons and I love this blade of Olympus and the fact he comes with the Aegis. The fact they even included a lightning bolt for Zeus is a really good detail cause Zeus is the king of the gods and he uses thunderbolts as his main weapon. The icing on the cake for Zeus is that the joints move flawlessly, there's no resistance to it but everything is still tight and firm and I absolutely love that. He feels like an all around great figure with joints moving very smoothly and the fact that these accessories fits in his hand makes him a very well made figure. Now this is actually a reissue from that original Zeus that Berserker Studios released which I unfortunately passed on. With more Greek gods down the road I have to say Berserker Studios has my money and I will be picking up the other gods of Olympus. If you are looking to add the Berserker Studios Zeus to your collection he is available on Gundammit.com. Zeus will run you about $64 which I think is very fair for the amount of detail that went into this figure. And before we wrap up this video, a huge shout out to our partner website Gundammit.com for sending this figure out to me so I could review it for you guys. For action figure model kits, third party and first party action figures, definitely check out Gundammit.com with a link in the description. So with that being said, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel and check out all my other action figure videos. Check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos, videos, recent pickups, latest prints, and as always, ring that bell so you never miss another video. And until next time, my fellow Dragonites coming from the Dragon Den, I'm King of Dragons 5000 reminding you to redesign, rebuild, and reclaim. I'll see you next time.